another day down at Frankie's Free Range Meat and I've been so busy and tired these past few days. I actually left my retainers in last night because I didn't get to bed until 3 or 4 a.m. Then I had to get up at 6.30 to come down here. And the day before, I was so tired from working Sunday that I took like a five hour nap in the middle of the day, which always throws your schedule off. So uh, we got a decent amount of stuff going on today. I actually got a bit more noise than usual in the background because uh, we got some guys installing my uh, phone line and cable line. So this building actually never had a phone line, never had any internet, any Wi-Fi, nothing. So now that all this stuff's installed, I can you know manage the business a little bit better. I wish I had some lunch to show you guys, but I'm actually just going to try to get out of here like an hour early, go home, eat something and relax a little bit. Let me actually show you guys the products that we have this week that are back in stock, newly available, and then we'll talk a little bit more. So I was taking a look at the ribeye steaks we have now, and no one else sells stuff like this, guys. You know, we're going to get steaks like this online, grass-fed at these prices. Uh, we do have the petite tender steaks back in stock. Uh, these are really nice, really affordable, which is why I like them. Convenient, you get five or six of these in a package. Basically last you, you know, a couple days worth of meat. We have the lamb picanha back in stock. I'm trying to get the beef picanha uh, this week, but these are four nice lamb picanhas if you guys want that back. New lamb product is lamb Denver ribs. Basically just a rib rack, another very, very affordable cut, very fatty. A couple people already ordered this. I think they're gonna really, really enjoy it. And we have our beef organs back. So at least in the meantime, I was able to find a supplier. We cut up some whole beef hearts into roughly 1.5 pound portions. This is a quarter of heart. We have our beef kidneys back. These are whole kidneys, roughly one pound portions. And we got our beef liver back into one pound portions. Now the main thing I've been debating these past few days is, do I buy a bandsaw and a dehydrator? I was hoping to get approved for that loan for the slaughterhouse so I wouldn't have to. You know, the bandsaw is around $4,000, very heavy duty meat saw, and a commercial dehydrator is about four or 5,000. In addition, I'd have to spend probably two to 3,000 in electrical work to uh, run an inverter, run a new electric line, and, and get the stuff up and running. So, you know, since I can't access marrow bones, you know, I would probably pay for the saw in four to five months of using it. And for the dehydrated the jerky, you know, it would pay for itself in three, four, five months as well. It's just, you know, I don't know if I really want to try to get that stuff down here in this facility now or our bank on getting a loan and getting in the slaughterhouse in three, four, five months. I don't really have the money to do it. Right now, uh, you know, I had to spend a lot of money restocking the whey protein, keeping stuff in stock. Speaking of which, uh, the whey protein is back this week. I have to make some chocolate and extra chocolate best bars. So if you guys did order uh, those chocolate flavored bars, I should have them out by the end of the week. Sorry if there's any delay. I did get the water kefir back in stock as well. And let me show you guys the electrical work we have right now. So this is a vacuum machine and that power line runs to this inverter because we only have single phase in this building. There's no triple phase electric and that electric line runs to the, to the circuit box. And we had to run another electric line over there to go to the, this is the machine we use, the conveyor belt for the best bars. Uh, so I don't really know how much more room is in this facility to run any more electrical lines. Also hoping I can get the cod liver oil back in stock uh, by the end of this week too. Uh, the only things that are missing uh, that I'm not really sure if I can get are those tendons and the marrow bones if I can't get the saw. So. I think I might have to pull the trigger on that stuff. You know, it's just a lot of little things I'm working on, like all of these cardboard boxes here. You know, we purchased them from a company right now that's a little bit overpriced. So I'm trying to knock about 20% off of that. All of this styrofoam, you know, we're paying maybe a dollar or two more than I should per box. And I'm trying to get prices off that as well. But, uh, you know, some more milk crates here and there, you know, just to keep the meat nice and organized. The main problem with a lot of this business stuff is I'm large enough that I can't really buy things on a small scale economically, but you know, a lot of the bigger suppliers, whole truckload stuff, it's, it's still too expensive. It's a huge chunk of money. And it's a double-edged sword. Like you can't run the business until it grows, but 
how can you grow the business you know without losing money uh, so you know if things work out I get the loan I've been applying for in two or three months and we can expand it and really get things pushing and moving that's what I'm excited about if that doesn't happen <laughs> I was genuinely thinking of just hey I've had enough of this bullshit I'm gonna go disappear on a beach in Mexico I know I've been saying that but man just every single day and it's really these scumbags and degenerates that I've had the pleasure of meeting and interacting with from uh, my former business partner which I don't really want to speak about there's some pending legal actions going on there same with the rat scumbag that we all know uh, I wonder how he's doing with his boyfriend in Texas but without going into detail into that which I really don't hope I have to that legal stuff those lawsuits when these banks look up my company they see there's you know there's a lawsuit against me and that can affect my chances of getting the loan so if, if these people in any way stop me from trying to basically help people by providing people with high quality animal foods and all the things I'm trying to do and and they would be stopping me for their own greed that's all it is all these dirtbags want to do is line their own pockets buy expensive cars buy expensive houses have people praise very selfish things and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but you know you're entitled to a nice house you're entitled to a nice car but when you take advantage of other people in order to get those things that that's the problem and I will drag these people as far down as I have to if, if things don't start working out I, I'm really sick of this and it's disgusting I think I've been very polite and nice about it I'm just concerned about you know I, I'm already censored ridiculously you know you guys are commenting how they took another 2,000 subscribers away you know when you start talking about certain things like secret societies like the groups these people are affiliated with pointing out their activities that that's really a last resort thing and I don't think anything good is gonna come from that we'll see what happens if not uh, I get to have a little fun talking shit about people I mean, and that's unfortunately it you know if, if I could just talk about positive and nice things you know I wouldn't have more than a three-minute video you know, all of these people in these groups that are greedy current business people they don't want competition they don't want you doing anything and and everyone is going to be against you regardless of what your goal is you know in my scenario if I'm trying to get people high quality affordable food there's a whole list of people who don't want that for various reasons whether they want to sell people food themselves and, and that's a big part of the carnivore movement and the carnivore stuff and why I'm censored and why they push me away or, or just you know big business trying to keep people sick and make money off them doctors that type of stuff so I don't really want to talk about that much more today I just kind of want to uh, give you guys an update on where my head's at um, it's just incredibly frustrating when uh, you, know, you know kind of what you have to do and uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna keep my sanity if I have to be down here for another year or two to be honest it's just like a culmination of things you know, I was even gonna make a video just on the uh, on me losing another 2,000 YouTube subscribers it's like not one single thing I do is enjoyable you know, everything is just it's just lame and all of these other cucks on YouTube are supporting each other it's fucking ridiculous all right see you guys tomorrow yeah, I'd rather post this video than skip a day, so, uh, whatever.